The last reaction that we're going to look at in this chapter is called the Robinson annulation reaction. And it is a combined Michael addition with an aldol condensation reaction. We're just going to look at one specific Robinson annulation reaction and its mechanism and not any other examples because you're not going to see it come up very often in your in your homework. But it's just an it's a really interesting coupling of the two reactions. So that the Robinson annulation like I said is a two-step process. It is a reaction that's used to make fused rings, so it's another way to make carbon-carbon bonds, which you know how much I love those reactions. And it starts with a Michael addition. We have the a good Michael acceptor here. I've, you know, I've drawn it sideways so that you can kind of visualize the ring that's going to be formed, but this, if you look at it in this format, you can see this, this is a good Michael acceptor. And this is about to be a good Michael donor. It just needs to be deprotonated at the alpha site. And then it's going to be a good enolate and able to attack the beta position to the carbonyl. So we don't need a very strong base to turn, to convert this diketone into an enolate. We can just use something like hydroxide. That'll turn this into an enolate and it'll attack here at the beta site and we will get a product that looks like this. One, two, three, four, initially. And then we will, so that's the Michael reaction, and then we'll do an aldol reaction with condensation. In the aldol reaction, we're going to be taking uh, the strong base to deprotonate this alpha position, and it will attack the um, this site right here. I'm paranoid that I'm going to lose a carbon in all of this. And at first, we'll have an OH group out here, but we're going to do the condensation and dehydrate, pop the OH group off, and add a double bond. So we've made a fused ring. And this much of it is a Michael addition reaction. And then this much of it is an aldol condensation reaction. So what we're going to do is look at the mechanism for just this specific Robinson annulation. I'm not going to look at anything generic. Like I said, in the, in the scope of this particular class, we're only going to be looking at this reaction in limited, in one limited example. So for the mechanism, first we're going to do the Michael addition, and the first thing that happens is formation of the enolate. right there. And then the enolate will attack the beta position of our Michael acceptor. And we will move electrons throughout that molecule. And we're forming our first carbon-carbon bond. Now here's where I get nervous. One, two, three, four. Oops, <laughs> I made a double bond. The bond is here. And that, uh, the hydroxide ion that we used to deprotonate has now become a water molecule, and that water molecule can be used to protonate the oxygen and complete the Michael addition process. And then, let me draw in... Um, oh, I'm sorry, I need to tautomerize. We need to do a ketoenol tautomerization with this right there. I 
And here we're just shifting the position, the location of the double bond, and we're also moving a hydrogen as well. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to draw in our alpha hydrogens. These alpha hydrogens, one of them is going to be deprotonated. We can use hydroxide again for the deprotonation. Now we're starting the aldol condensation process. So we'll pull off one of those hydrogens and create an enolate again. And this enolate, because it's a true, it's the enolate of a real ketone, that's a very strong nucleophile, it is going to attack the carbonyl carbon and it's going to choose to attack uh, in this particular case either one because of the symmetry of the molecule but if we were working with something different we, remember we want to choose to do an attack that lets us make a five or six membered ring and we have one two three four one two three four and our new bond. And at this particular time, we have out here, when we opened up this carbonyl bond, we just have an oxygen with a formal negative charge on it. And where is this guy? This guy is right here. So here we have made another water molecule, and that water molecule can be used to protonate our oxygen give us this product right here and then we're going to heat it up so that we finished the aldol addition. Now we're going to heat it up and we're going to let the aldol condensation process take place. That is what I just wrote there, a very teeny tiny hydrogen, alpha hydrogen. So for the aldol condensation, we're going to deprotonate another alpha hydrogen again. And the carbon hydrogen electrons are going to come in as a lone pair. And then we are going to move that lone pair of electrons up to make a carbon-carbon double bond and knock off an OH as a leaving group, which is okay in this case because we're not creating a stronger base than what we already have in solution. So it's okay to have an OH as a leaving group. New double bond, methyl. I don't think I have forgotten anything. I don't know why I wrote the double bond on the outside of the ring. That bothers me, and I feel like I need to write it again. And there we go. So again, that's the only reaction that we're going to look at for the Robinson annulation. For all of these conjugate reactions, you can practice with conceptual checkpoints 22, 44 through 46, skill builder 22.7, and problems 22, 47, and 48. And oh, I was wrong. More conceptual checkpoints 49 and 50.